Hello, and welcome to part two of the TweetAdderWorks video tutorials. In this video, we're going to be getting into the rest of the features and functions of TweetAdder. I've got TweetAdder open, and I'm on the overview screen. The overview screen gives you basic stats about your Twitter accounts right from TweetAdder. This is really handy when you're using multiple Twitter accounts and managing multiple Twitter accounts through TweetAdder. To open the account, we just double click on the name. In the first video, we learned how to search for Twitter profiles by keywords and then how to follow those users. The next section is the follow back. Follow back is really handy. What it does is it scans your profile for any users that are following you but you are not following them back. We want to follow back all of our users so we can keep those users. We can see on the overview screen that we have three users to follow back. That means three people are following me that I am not following. So we go back to the follow back screen. I like to randomize my times a little bit better. And then we just click start. And a few moments later, TweetAdder is done sending our follow backs. Up next is the unfollow user section. The unfollow user section allows you to do just what it says. But why would you want to unfollow a Twitter profile that you're following? Well, if you plan on growing a massive follower list, which you probably do, then you have to work with Twitter's follower ratios. I've put a link below this video explaining fully how that works. But in short, in order to keep growing your list, your followers have to be within a certain ratio of the people you're following. This section allows you to trim the fat, so to speak, to unfollow the people that aren't following you back. This section has the same options you'll find throughout TweetAdder number of profiles to unfollow, time delays, uh, maximum unfollows per day, etc. Some of the more powerful features down here, uh, wait number of days for a user to follow you back before you unfollow them. The default is three. I like to bump it up to five or six to give those users a little bit more time to follow you back. The ratio option here allows you to basically pause the unfollow feature if you fall within a certain ratio. And this is key um, when you're trying to build a large follower list. The other option is who to unfollow. I like to keep it at the default. That allows you to basically manually add any profiles or follow any profiles that you don't want TweetAdder to unfollow. Okay, that wraps up the follow and unfollow features of TweetAdder. And next we're going to get into the automated communications piece. We're going to start here with the tweets page. This section allows you to send out pre-written tweets to your followers. You can add these tweets manually by typing in this field here, clicking Add, or if you have a large number of tweets you'd like to work with, you can use the Import feature here. There's some basic time options here, randomizing your time between tweets, the maximum number of tweets to send per day. One of the key features on this page is TweetEdit's URL shortener. TweetAdder runs its own URL shortening service called tiny.ly. And this is important because if you post a lot or if you post from many different accounts, you can actually get into trouble with the other URL shortening services. They can ban your account or block the URL that you're linking. So if you're going to be tweeting a lot, do yourself a favor, sign up for their account, use their API, and you won't have any of these kind of problems. Next we're going to take a look at TweetAdder's Tweet Generator. Now this is really neat. This function actually allows you to spin content into multiple tweets. I'm going to take the example they've given us here, paste it in this window, and then click Generate Tweets. And from that single sentence, we've gotten 324 tweets. TweetEdder takes the choices you've given it for words and spins it into content. Now the exact format and usage of this is in the manual, and you should look it up if you want to follow it. This page also offers TweetEdder's URL shortening service. The next feature is the RSS feed. Now this is extremely powerful. TweetEdder allows you to take an RSS feed from a blog or from Google Reader or from anywhere and plug it in. TweetEdder will then take the content from that feed and post it as tweets to your followers. This is by far the best way to create custom unique content for your tweets. Now there's a bunch of options here. There's some time options, maximum time per day. You put the RSS feed URL here. I would suggest clicking the include title, but not the description, because it's going to be too long. You can also add a prefix or a suffix, like if you wanted to add a hashtag. In our example, we would type something like coffee. 
and it would add that hashtag to every tweet it created from this RSS feed. I'm going to be making a video down the road on how to use keywords with Google Reader to create your own unique RSS feed to use for your Twitter account. The next feature is the retweets feature. What this does is it allows you to retweet the tweets of anybody you would like. Let's say a celebrity or a major player in your niche. Um, it allows you to add the username and even a keyword to make sure that you're only retweeting things on a certain topic. There's some time options here. This is pretty straightforward. Next up we have the replies feature. This allows you to automatically send a tweet back anytime somebody does an at reply or an at mention. And it'll automatically insert the person's at username. So you can say something like, thanks for the mention. And, and it'll automatically reply with that anytime somebody replies at your Twitter username. This also has the tweet at a URL shortener service and some time options. Next up we have the thank you message and this is really important. This feature allows us to get our product or our message or our website or whatever it is we're marketing in front of every new user that follows us. We enter a pre-written message here thanks for the follow, check out our great website, etc. And every time we get a new user, TweetAdder will direct message this pre-written message to that user. This gives us a great chance, like I said, to get whatever it is you're marketing in front of every new user that follows you. The last feature under messages is other messages. Now these are straight direct messages that you can pre-write and pre-can and send out to your followers. Now you can do this manually, you can also import messages just like the tweets. There's also some time options and an option here who to send it to. Just a bit of warning, you can get yourself into trouble when sending out mass direct messages. People are very intolerant when it comes to spam via direct messages, so just be careful when using this feature. And the very last feature in TweetAdder is the trends. You can click on the search trends button and it will show you the topics that are trending on Twitter right now. This is the same information you can get off the Twitter homepage. This allows you to pull it right into TweetAdder and see if you can use any of the trending topics for whatever it is you're marketing. That concludes video two of the TweetAdder Works video tutorials. In video three, we're going to be getting into the automation of TweetAdder and how to put your Twitter marketing campaign on autopilot. Thank you.